you must utter my name, not in thought as we are speaking, but aloud. I was trying to find a quote that kind of fit here, and um, I, I guess this one works, right? Uh, this is from Dragon's Keep. I'm kind of geeky, so this is the kind of stuff I'll find. But I think it's very appropriate. I don't even know what to say. All I know is it's important that we acknowledge the problem that we have. And uh, I don't have the loudest voice, but I have a willingness to stand in front of this camera and send out my message to whoever's willing to listen. I mean, imagine being scared whenever you get pulled over. Imagine the uncomfortable stares you get when you walk into a store or a mom and pop shop. Imagine having no way to climb out of a pit that is poverty because of an oppressive system that we've built. <sighs> Hell, it's been really tough year so far, but none have hit harder emotionally or mentally than the past couple of days. Honestly, it's crazy to see that no matter how much a person hangs out with black people, how little they really know about their struggle. We as a society have to see the sorrows of the oppressed as it explodes all over the streets. We've allowed them to suffer so much that even though there is a global pandemic, they come out to protest and risk their lives. Because there is another pandemic that plagues them, this country, and will complain and say stuff like, all lives matter. That just translates to, I don't care. It's obvious that all lives matter. But right now, the lives that are suffering are the lives of our black brothers and sisters. I'm not into all the looting and the rioting, and I think it's wrong and unjustifiable. But this is also our responsibility as a society, because we let this pressure build up inside our own country that we're supposedly so proud of. I'm not saying I'm not thankful for our country and the people before us that have purchased our privileges with blood. I'm speaking for myself and the people who haven't done the proper maintenance of loving our fellow man. We'll complain about the riots and looting, but once again, we'll do nothing about it because it doesn't affect us. Translation, I don't care. So we leave those who have suffered by themselves to pick up the pieces. And the only thing we'll do is type on a keyboard in the comment section and bicker on Facebook and Twitter. We see certain things we don't like, but eventually it gets pushed to the back of our minds because it doesn't affect us. Translation, we don't care. And at the end of the day, if anybody listens to my little voice and watches me preach on my little soapbox, I have people say a whole bunch of if else, bullying type comments, then I guess mission accomplished because it's time we get uncomfortable and hear all the things we've ignored. It's time that we fight. It's time that we fight for justice. Speak his name, justice for George Floyd.